Hello, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over another Star Wars Black Series action figure review. And today we have the Stormtrooper Mimbomb. This one was a Walmart exclusive and you can see, yeah, he looks absolutely epic in the package. So I've had mine in here for almost two years. You can see the brown on the Stormtrooper down there on the bottom is absolutely awesome. The side of the package is also brown also and you can see the square box up there with no number which means it is exclusive i'm going to read the back to you just quickly it says the standard imperial stormtrooper has versatile training and equipment that allows for them to be deployed on a wide variety of environments though they are bol bolstered by mud trooper ranks stormtroopers still form the backbone of the imperial army action on mimban and you can see a bunch of choking hazards down there on the bottom. It says Stormtrooper on the side. And you can see uh, it's in a different color there. Also, here is the bottom of the box. Nothing down there. But without further ado, let's open this guy up and take a closer look. Boom! The Mimbon Stormtrooper is out of his package. And this figure is absolutely awesome. It exceeded my expectations. The pictures that I've seen with his helmet coming up looked a little odd to me this guy's actually going for over 40 bucks on ebay right now which i thought was crazy because i actually picked him up on clearance for probably either five or ten bucks i don't remember but i've had this guy for about two years in his package and i've wanted to do uh, a review to get some practice i know this video probably won't get a lot of views but uh, if you are here, I definitely appreciate it. If you guys could throw a thumbs up on the video, I would definitely appreciate it and consider checking out some of my other videos when you're done with this one. But I love the cape. I love the detail, the articulation, everything about this figure. I'm extremely happy. I wish I would have bought more. But anyway, without further ado, let me get him off of here and let's take a closer look at the Mimban Stormtrooper. As you can see, our trooper does hold his gun extremely well. This cloth here is a soft material and you can see like white splotches all over to show the weathering. It is in two pieces, but it is sewn together up there on the top. I did have a little nick on mine uh, up here, so just be careful for that. This is the little piece that pops out over the top and I originally didn't like the look of that, but the more I look at the figure, the more I love it, but the detail on it is amazing. You can see in his mouthpiece, this one, Looks a little bit darker than a regular Stormtrooper, but yeah, overall the detail is awesome. His gun is a lighter gray than normal, but he does hold it extremely well. Uh, I did have to pry his hands open pretty good here, but overall the figure just looks great, doesn't it? Uh, I can't wait to get more Troopers. I'm glad the next wave of the Black Series is going to have them too. But let me just show you the blaster. We've seen this blaster many, many times. Uh, I believe it's the E11. I'm learning these as I go. Uh, I just started opening figures uh, this year, guys, so I definitely appreciate it uh, checking out some of the videos that I do have up on the channel. But uh, let's go over the amazing detail that I notice on here. Right away, the weathering goes all around the body, your typical Stormtrooper gear. He does have a holster on here, which the blaster doesn't actually fit in. Uh, but I have seen another review where... Uh, other blasters will actually fit in there again you can see more string down here where it's tied around which is kind of odd see that uh, that's definitely odd but yeah uh, it doesn't look like much shoulder movement in the back uh, your typical little canister on the back of his belt it is a loose in the front and it looks like this time it's glued and it can actually come apart here but overall, yeah, the mud and the detail looks absolutely great. The boots are kind of shiny for my taste. Just look how shiny they look. They really don't go too well with it. But let me go over this trooper's articulation. Okay, he does have a cool joint in this guy's neck, which I notice is a little bit different. So it does enable him to push forward like that and uh, push back. So you can go both ways. So you can look, make him look down pretty far. You can pop him back and make him look up really good too. He does do the little side to side, like your crazy look. Uh, let's check out these shoulders, how far they go up. Oh boy, that's, well it does go up, yeah. There, so there is some leeway in there. This is probably a rubber pad that opens up. No, this one's pretty, pretty tough. I don't know if you can get it under there. Yeah, you're really gonna have to play with that. But we'll check out the other arm. Looks like there's an upper swivel, double jointed elbow, which goes up relatively high swivel in the hand uh, with a hinge that goes up and down 
other arm let's see let's see nope he is stuck on this side too guys let me know your thoughts on that uh upper swivel on the top double jointed elbow uh and a swivel down for the hand to help hold his blaster looks like he is on a diaphragm joint so he has a lot of swivel points down about that far back way far and of course side to side really good and holds it it looks like he's going to kick up not too good because of the little piece right here but again you can always swivel that around and maneuver around it kicks back not far at all uh, double jointed knees which go back extremely far and of course you're going to have your typical swicker uh swivel swicker swivel and pivot on the heels but uh overall guys that is the mimbon stormtrooper uh, what do you guys think? Do you have one in your collection? Are you willing to pay $40 for this on the aftermarket price? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for checking out today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one.